Oh, Saul, why didn't you obey the Lord's instructions? Does nothing please you? They are to be offered as a sacrifice. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. So, this is the thanks I receive. I have just put an end to Israel's greatest enemy. I! There was a time, Saul, when you were little in your own sight. But you have put your will above God's. You have rejected his word. And now he will reject you. Very well. I have sinned. I was wrong. Now let's be done with it. Saul, you are no longer God's anointed king. Just as you have torn this garment from me, so your kingdom will be torn from you. And it will be given to another who is more worthy. And finally, dear God, we pray for thy blessing on this food which we are about to eat. Amen. Ah, out of my way. Where's the bread? I'll take more of that. More meat. Mm. Don't take the last one. I want that. No, no, no. Pass that to me. Don't pass that to me. I'll have the food. Give me the food. I'll take the food. More food. <coughs> It took me all afternoon to make this food. You could at least act like you're tasting it. Sorry, Mother. No one's here. Why can't we eat like we always do? Well, what if someone did come to visit? Uh, like who, my dear? I don't know. What if the prophet came to visit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I have to agree with the boys on this one, my dear. <laughs> It's Samuel, the prophet. Thank you. Here she comes. Look out. Look out. Fig? It, the finest in Bethlehem, I assure you. Uh, no, thank you. I'm anxious to fulfill the Lord's command. Then, the Lord has sent you here? Yes. I have come to meet your sons. The Lord has a great need for one of them. I see. I see. Well, of course. He wants to meet the boys. Oh. Well, I, uh, I guess we start with the oldest first. Uh, um, which is my oldest? <laughs> I am, Father. Uh, yes, of course. Eliab, yes, okay. This is my oldest son, Samuel. I mean, Eliab. You're Samuel. <coughs> this is Eliab. I've never seen a man who looks more like a king than he does. Surely this is the one, Lord. The Lord sees differently than man, Samuel. Man sees only the outward appearance. But the Lord looks on the heart. Eliab is a good man, but not the one I've chosen. Uh, let me see the rest. These are Abinadab, Shema, Nethaniel, Radii, and Ozem. None of these do I choose either, Samuel. Uh -huh. Are these all of your sons? There is another one. Tending the sheep. He's just a boy, though. Send for him. <coughs> now, remember, Samuel, he's very young. Father, you called for me. Arise, Samuel. Anoint him. For this is he. David... Son of Jesse, in the name of God, I anoint you King of Israel. Oh, 
Is Saul no longer the king then? And Saul is still king, but David is the Lord's anointed. I know Saul's temper. If he finds out about this, he'll kill David. I know. I don't know how the Lord will work this out. I only know he can. We must all believe that.